everyone, so today I'm going to be making apple crisp. I think I'm going to make an apple raspberry crisp. It's going to be for dessert for my family's Christmas dinner. The ingredients you will need are oats, cinnamon, flour, white sugar, brown sugar, and I am using this vegan spread here that you can use for cooking and baking. It's earth balance and I've picked the soy free. So first thing we are going to cut up our apples. So I'm using Macintosh apples. I don't peel them. I like to have the skins on them for a few reasons. I think it tastes good and I'm too lazy to peel it. So all I do is take out the core and then you need to cut it up into a bit smaller pieces. So just make sure no seeds or cores are in there and you can of course peel the apples if you like but I think it tastes good that way. So that's what we're going to be doing. So in the dish here, I have a large glass pan. I used one whole bag, it was three pounds of Macintosh apples. And now I'm going to be using a 400 gram bag of frozen raspberries to go on top. You could really put whatever berries you wanted or just keep it with apple. I always used to just make it with apples, but raspberries are my favorite fruit. So the one time I put them together in wowzers, it was great. So on top of this, since raspberries are pretty tart, that's where our white sugar is going to come into play. You're going to want to put a whole cup of sugar on top. Just sprinkle it evenly out. Because if you don't, raspberries aren't too sweet sometimes after they've been frozen especially I find. So yes this is a very sugary dessert. So next we're going to be mixing up the topping. So now I have a really large Tupperware, just a white big mixing bowl. We're going to put in two cups of flour. I'm just using regular old all-purpose flour. And we're going to get into our oats. Same thing, two cups of oats. I usually go over on the oats because I like it even more crunchy, crispy on top. So we're doing heaping scoops of that. Next is our brown sugar. Again, this is gonna be a lot of sugar. We're putting in four cups of brown sugar. If you were making just a small pan, you'd be dividing this in half, but my pan's really large. So I'm not going to do them packed. I'm just lightly putting it in there because I don't think you need four packs of brown sugar, really packed in there brown sugar. Might only put three because that looks like a crap ton. I'm just going to get to spoon and check it out. this up just to see how it looks, see if we need more brown sugar or not. We might. Break up all these pieces. So obviously this isn't really a dessert if you're on a diet. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Well, luckily I don't eat hardly any sugar anymore, so once in a while for a dessert isn't going to be a big deal. Ah, I might put some more in because it just doesn't look quite as dark as it usually does. Let's put a half bit more. And I want more oats just by looking at it. And now we put cinnamon in. So four tables of cinnamon. I never measure, measure cinnamon because I love it. So I'm just going to shake it out but you can measure it out. And then I just kind of go by again what it looks like once you stir it up. If it looks dark enough with cinnamon, maybe you don't like cinnamon a ton so you might want to lighten up on it. There are no rules. Let's stir this bad boy up. I'm 
putting more cinnamon. So I'm just gonna stir this for a minute and smash up the brown sugar bits. So next we're gonna be putting in our vegan spread. So this is pretty solid. So I'm going to be taking a cup of this out putting it into the microwave so that we can stir it in here better. Okay, so here is our vegan butter. It's all melted out, so we're just gonna pour this in. This was a whole cup. And stir up. So you want this to kind of clump together so it's not so powdery. And the vegan butter is going to be what makes it nice and crispy on top. If you think you need more of the butter product you're using, feel free because we've got a little bit extra here. It's kind of dusty, so I am going to do a little bit more. Okay, so we're throwing her a little bit more in. Perfect, that looks great. Okay, so I'm going to use a ladle to scoop it on just so it doesn't end up falling all over the counter and of course you can make less topping I made a lot because I think it tastes the best with a load of topping that might not be everybody's preference so definitely you could have stuck with the original recipe with way less topping than I ended up adding And I'm not going to end up showing what it looks like baked because I am taking this over to my mom's and we're going to bake it while we're all over there so that it's nice and hot served for dessert. But it looks pretty much the same. It just gets a little bit glazy looking on top from all the butter. Butter product. Vegan butter. and we are almost done and as you can see that is heaping but when the apples cook they cook down so it ends up being you know way lower okay I'm just going to, my hands are clean don't worry I'm just gonna push this all down so that doesn't crumble everywhere so when you're baking it, you're going to want to put it on for 350 for the temperature for probably a good hour if you're making it this large. If you have one of the smaller like 9x9 nine nine pans, you might only need about 40 minutes. But you can't over bake it. You just don't want to have any of the apples still crunchy. They definitely taste better once they've been softened up. Okay, last scoop, or maybe we just have one tiny more scoop. Yeah, so I used that entire bowl on top there. Yep. And I'm just squishing it down because this is going to be easier for transport. Otherwise, when it's all powdery and you're trying to take it in a vehicle, it's going to go everywhere. Okay, so that is our apple raspberry crisp. And it's delicious if you serve it with ice cream. So obviously I'd be using a dairy-free ice cream. I really like the cashew-based ice creams. So thanks guys for watching. Bye!